there, Josh. You can do it, Josh. Don't be a baby. What's the worst that can happen? This will be the best one yet. Camera. Check. Oh, hang on. Uh, did you get that? Uh, Vicky! I'm sorry, David. Uh, sorry. Uh, oh. uh. So, how did it go with Mike on your lovely romantic break? Yeah, we had a good time. <laughs> right, I'm glad I called you for that juicy morsel. You know, I wish I had something more exciting to tell you. It's just... Can't be faulted for having standards. Yeah. Just something surprising would be nice. You know, when blokes do things, you're not really expecting it. What, no present? No. Champagne? No. What, what are you going to do? The sex is so good, I think I'll give him another chance. I mean, there's got to be some substance to the man. Anyway, tell me all about this new doctor. I'm thinking older, sexy, George Clooney-ish. Mm. No? Uh -uh. Ruth, sorry, you need a back on reception. So what does Archie think of him? Heston? Uh, <laughs> I don't think he's too impressed. Oh, Heston's great, as long as we nurses keep to our level. He said Heston's great. So... Yeah, yeah, I heard. <laughs> I can't believe you missed it. I'm sorry. A one-shot deal. You stupid it was a mistake. I'll do better next time. How are we going to make a name for ourselves? We can't even do a simple stunt like skiing downstairs. Can you help me? We're nearly there. You saw how many hits the last one got on YouTube. Yeah, people are talking about us. We're going to get that TV series. Am I the only one here with any grasp of reality? Or ambition. What do you mean? Look, we're just starting out, right? We've got to come up with stunts that are going to blow people's heads off. It's the only way we'll get noticed. I guess. And we've got some competition. <laughs> exactly. The Glasgow crew skateboarding naked through that train. The Bristol deadheads and the box of snakes. <laughs> well, Josh isn't up to doing another one for a while. No problem. I'll stop it up. Let's give it another shot. Huh. I've got the vision, the drive, the ambition. Stick with me, you'll be famous in no time. But you've got to raise your game. I've got an idea. Anything, please. Well, I've been working on it for a while now. It, it's not quite there yet, but I think it could be the best stunt we've done. I'll be the judge of that. So come on, spill. Well, we can use all the equipment we put aside for the garage stunt. Let me show you. Um... You only saw a cow cry once. It's about eight. Some bully had thumped him, and I told him, I said, They hit you. You whip them back harder. That's how you win. That's how you get to the top. How you old enough? It's too young. Should still be here. You know, there are things that are starting to bother me. Like what? Like bits of you story that don't ring true. I didn't get here by making stupid mistakes. Ignoring the obvious. You said when you had the shot, you went straight upstairs. So did anyone have time to get away? They would have ducked out the window, Jack. It's an easy drop to the yard. Yeah, was the window open? Well, even after his shot, they could have got down the stairs and out the back if they were quick. Sounds like clutching at straws to me. I think... It's time we got some answers. This is going to be awesome. The medical facility on the campus of Leatherbridge University. Lots of people playing doctors and nurses. They're about to find out how sick things can really get.
liquid seaweed. Easily available from your local garden centre. Uh, match heads for sulphur and Who killed Callum? Could have been Grable. That loser hasn't got it in him. Yeah, but he was angry when you only gave him half the Oh, me, the truth! Jack, we are telling you the truth. Am I on my own here? Because when it comes to it, I don't really know anything about you, do I? Or you, for that matter. Hang on. Where did you get off saying that to me? I've always been there for you. Don't turn it on me, Jack. Women. If you push the people that are closest to your way, then you're going to destroy yourself. Listen to her, Jack. No one can do your job on their own. Yeah, well, if I have to. You need to look out there. That's where the real threat is. Don't push us away. It's Callum. He's one in a long line. All of them gone. When I was a kid, I saw my dad killed. And now I'm a dad. I see my own son murdered. I can't take it anymore. And like an idiot, I thought it would all end with that copper back in Newcastle. You know what? Never ends. Never ends. Well, you'll live. Just a few cuts and bruises. That ankle's a bit swollen, though. How'd you do it? Uh, fell downstairs. Oh, yeah. Sober, mate. I don't drink. Just clumsy. Very clumsy. Right. Well, you need to rest it, get some ice on it, keep it tight, and just keep the foot up until the swelling goes down. I'm an engineering student. Long hours, not a lot of time sitting around with my foot up in the air. Mm. Is it giving you any pain? Nah, I can handle it. No sense, no feeling, my old mum used to say. <laughs> well, if it gets any worse, you should take some painkillers. Can you smell that? Oh, yeah. Gross. Vile. Where's it coming from? <coughs> <coughs> Jake, I've got to take it as Deacon about supply me. Yeah? Tell him not to be late this so. time. Jake seems to be late. Jill. Come and have a drink. How's that? Sewers? I can't tell where it's coming from. <laughs> it's like a stink bomb to me. Oh, and you'd know, would you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, phone the water board. Okay. And if it's their fault, give them both barrels. Hey, Jimmy, I'm are you fine. <laughs> hey, Sorry about this. We've got a problem with the drains, but we'll get it sorted. Oh. Thanks. Just like old times, eh? You always were a comfort to me, Jim. Right from the start. You've got someone. You know that. Right back at you, Jack. Be strong. Be smart. Good looking. Why, I? You never let people get in your way, do you? Never have. If all those stories about you, they can't be true. Don't you believe it, Dan? I am a bad, bad man. Did you really take three men out on your own? It was four, actually. With a pool cue. And I was drunk. They've come at me with pickaxe handles, guns, knives. Even a machete once. None of them walked away. So how far would you go? What do you mean? Well, there must be something you wouldn't do. I've killed a cop. When you can put a gun to their head, look them straight in the eyes and still pull the trigger, you can do anything. The shooting on Northgate? That was you? One bullet. So I killed a cop. 
I said, well, I'm not scared to get my hands dirty. I told you, I'm a bad, bad man. What are you talking about? Mind your own business. Yeah, never do. Down my oh, I can't believe it. Go on the floor. Please. What are you two plotting? What? We're just discussing our esteemed new partner. Oh, Archie wasn't very impressed. No, he's not the only one. No, he's just um, asked Vivian, sorry, Marion, to um, mm -hmm. sweep up a cup that he broke in his own room. I mean, he's upstairs, downstairs, all over again. Masters and servants. You're not a cleaner. I just don't understand how he has that attitude in this day and age. It's a hideous disease that infects the minds of surgeons, along with the puffed-out chest and the nose in the air. <sighs> yeah, he seems to have got it into his head that this is a soft option working here. Soft? Yeah, compared to the very important work he's used to doing. Who does he think he is? I'm sorry, we're going to sort this out as soon as we can. Folks, <laughs> any news from the water board yet? <laughs> oh, that, that smell! Oh. <laughs> Right. Sorry, mate. Rush a blood to the head. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. Walt's company. Rapid response unit. Sorry, what? We have definite contamination here. Yeah. Uh, right, Ruth, could you deal with the waterboard SWAT team and I'll finish with my patients? You got here quick? Yes, sir. Your call was flagged up on our system at head office. Well, this is serious. But we're going to need to run some tests. Isn't it just a bad smell? That's just a warning sign. So you're saying the contamination's got into the water supply? In the system, certainly. <laughs> well, what are we talking about here? I mean, we need some information. Is there somewhere we can talk privately, sir? Uh, yeah, Julia's office. This way. What are you so happy about? Leave her be. She's trying to cheer me up. We're running low on vodka. The delivery should have been here yesterday. Forget it. You can't let people get away with things. You taught me that. I'm give them a piece of my mind. Could have sworn she'd sorted that out the other day. Why couldn't she have made the call from here? Well, she's got a sharp tongue on her. When she gets going, she probably didn't want to make her ears bleed. Something's not right. I don't trust her, Jack. We believe the water pipes may have been contaminated by a mutated strain of the apicomplexan group of pathogens. Oh, that's terrible. Well, you know what that is? No. It bears some similarities to cryptosporidium, but without the diarrheal infection. What about the other crypto symptoms? Nausea, abdominal pains? All this strain causes is a bad smell. Oh. Okay, so we don't need to evacuate. No, sir. You sure? I mean, cryptosporidium can be pretty nasty, especially to a patient who has a bad immune system. Sir, we're not about to take any risks. I've just never heard of a crypto strain like that. We've seen it in other buildings in this area. Just the smell. We still have to clear this system quickly before the pathogen gets established. What do you have to do? Investigate the water system at various points to locate the main contamination. Well, how long will that take? Oh, we'll try to keep it to a minimum. And we don't want the patients disrupted, OK? You won't even know we're here. Is there anything I can do to help? Just let us get on with our work. OK, well, I better get back. Are you OK to start in here? Yeah. Great, thanks. <laughs> nice one. This is going to be brilliant. This lot of men like proper idiots when this video hits the net. We're not going to upset the patients, are we? I hadn't thought about that. Don't worry about that. What about the big payoff? Our own little firework display. Everybody will laugh about it afterwards. I've got everything I need on tape. Well, don't worry. With what I've got today, I'll be able to put Jack Harcourt away for a long time. It's time for me to get out of here. Where shall I meet you? OK, I'll get away as soon as I can. Surgery. 
sorry, sorry, yeah. Okay, thanks, bye. Did you see that? What? Look, an animal on wheels. Animal? A badger thing. I didn't see anything. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Uh, Ruth, um, I think the patients are unsettled enough without you seeing imaginary creatures. <laughs> Let's see how they like this soundtrack. Sorry, Doctor, sorry. The, the, the pipes run under the floor. Bro, how long is it going to take? I'll turn the sound down. <laughs> Plot me with Julia call. Right, if any more disruption will happen with the patients to the mill. Oh, gosh, things got worse. Uh, unfortunately, sir, the contamination's moving through the system. <sighs> well, are you going to be long? I've got a load of patients backed up out there. No, I'm, I'm nearly done now. Look, tell me to get off here, but is there something else? What do you mean? I don't know, just... Doesn't seem right. I mean, is it worse than you telling us? Uh, no, of course not. Because if it is, we need to tell the patients. We can't keep this from them. What are you still doing here? <sighs> Feeling a bit weird. All that noise, I've, I've got a headache now. Uh, excuse me. Oh, oh. <sighs> Sorry, mate. Bit of a pride and prejudice moment. <clears throat> Need to get some readings to make sure the pathogen isn't airborne. Okay. Have you seen an animal around here? An animal? I keep seeing. Oh, it doesn't matter. Excuse me. Oh. <sighs> Nothing here. Nothing here. Uh, try over there in the corner. Are you sure? Have a good check. See if I can just lean up. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing here. Ah, you must be Michelle Heston Carter. So, what have you got against nurses? Oh. Just saw that badger again. <laughs> you need to lie down. Honestly, it was there, then gone. <laughs> sorry, sorry. If there's any patterns here. Charge you. Who are you? Water Company Rapid Response Unit. I'm the practice manager. You're responsible for this chaos? We're trying to find the source of the contamination. Right, well then get a move on, because this kind of disruption is totally unacceptable. Now I need the name and the direct phone number of your manager. Where's Jimmy? I just finished his shift. Right, Ruth, would you just check the patient's room? Okay, please. Come on, phone number. Ah, gossip, smears and innuendo. How wonderful. You're telling me it's not true. I absolutely adore nurses. The backbone of the NHS. Well, you haven't convinced anyone else. When I was at my last hospital, there was a very pompous surgeon. Yes, yes, there are such things, Michelle. He treated the nurses abominably, bellowing up one girl until she cried, poor thing. Well, he had to be taught a lesson. Yeah, too, right? So, after a night on the town, he often slept in one of the hospital rooms, already dressed in his scrub so he wouldn't be late for the shift the next morning. Now, with the help of the nurses, I crept in while he was fast asleep and cut a hole in the rear of his trousers. The next morning, he walked through three wards until he realised it was a bit drafty. Now, I couldn't have pulled that prank without the nurses. We were quite a team. OK, I get it. You're a bit of a wind-up merchant. Mm. I do like a bit of a jape. Oh, I've got my eyes on you. Very wise philosophy. Actions, not words. Yeah, well, you better act fast. As first impressions go... Bad? The worst. Oh, dear. How am I going to save my public image? Well, there's only one way to get this lot back on side. Bribery. Hmm. That witch is going to rumble us any minute. We'll have to call it a day. I'm not giving up. What else can we do, mate? 
we're going to move forward to the big finale. Let the scripts off. In reception now. Pretend our equipment is malfunctioning, massive explosions, lots of smoke. It'll be a madhouse. I don't know. You're not getting cold feet. It's too much. It's not fair on the staff. When have you ever cared what people might think? The stunts, the thing. Big smoke, you're right, mate. Let's just leave. Don't get soft on me. This is your idea. This is the one that's going to make our name. We agreed we were in this together. All right, but just one squib. A quick flash and bang. Somebody's going to have a heart attack if you do the whole lot. Go on then, but make it good. We're relying on you. Straight after she says off that script, you do all the others, right? Yes. I'm feeling a bit under the weather. I'm just going to nip out for a bit of air. Yeah, you go right ahead, darling. Please, bear with me. Ow! What's going on? Keep filming. She's burned herself. Keep filming. What's happened? Equipment You all right, Vix? But I need to get this scene seen. It's all right. It's just an equipment problem. Nobody worry. Everything's fine. Who's she calling? Thank you. Oh, come on. What's going on? What do you mean? Obviously some stupid prank, innit? Disrupting a doctor's surgery for a joke is about as brain dead as it gets. I'm sorry. I didn't think it through. No, you didn't. Now get your stuff and go. She's heading out of town. Where's she going? Ruth Badger. She'll need this for the sake of her sanity. Why did I ever listen to you? Oh, I know why. Stupid me, because I like you. Come on, not here. You don't care what happens to anyone as long as the great David gets what he wants. <sighs> and how hurt would I have to be before you'd help me? Look, you need to leave right now. Well? <sighs> You're crazy. Go. Now. Dude, where's your dignity? Give me that. What's the Glasgow crew going to say? Give me that. <laughs> Josh. Josh. Josh, come on. Guys, we can work. Guys, come on. Holding in her hand. The evidence to hang me. Now, where to go? Usually, I can smell cops a mile off. Did you kill Callum? Did you kill Callum? Look at me! It was an accident. You tried to rear Poppy. Lies! It was an accident! 
accident. Not like that time you murdered a copper. I found this. Okay. Dr. Clay's girlfriend was murdered yesterday. Shot in front of him. Lord, I had no idea. Yes, can I come? <laughs> you, stay away from my wife. Diva. 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 The hospital's buzzing about a new celebrity patient and diagnosis murder that's coming up next here on BBC One Scotland. And later, don't miss Anne Robinson on The Weakest Link at 5.15.